Hey there, fellow data hoarders and privacy enthusiasts. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of secure cloud storage with a service that's making some serious waves in the privacy community, Internext. Look, I get it. Most of us have been comfortably nestled in the cozy embrace of Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive, or iCloud for years. They're convenient. They're everywhere. And, well, to be fair, they just work. But have you ever stopped to consider what these tech giants might be doing with all those personal vacation photos and sensitive documents you've been uploading? Now, I've spent the last month putting Internet Next through absolute hell, testing every feature, pushing every limit, and basically trying to break it in every way possible. Why? To find out if this privacy-first cloud storage is actually worth switching to from the big names you already know and maybe love. Well, for me, it's more like a love-hate relationship, but anyway. And spoiler alert, there are some serious trade-offs you'll need to consider. Is bulletproof privacy worth giving up some convenience? Let's find out together. First impressions. Internex takes a refreshingly clean, minimalist approach to cloud storage. The interface isn't cluttered with a million features you'll never use, which I personally find quite refreshing after years of feature bloat from other services. File management? Super intuitive. The fold structure uses a familiar tree view that made organizing my chaotic digital life surprisingly painless. Need to preview files? No problem. PDFs, images, text files all open right in your browser without a hitch. But, and well, to be honest, this is a pretty big but. There are some limitations that honestly left me scratching my head. Video previews only work for files under 100 megabytes, which feels like a step back compared to something like PCloud's Media Player that handles my 4K vacation videos without breaking a sweat. The most shocking omission? There is no file versioning. I'm, I'm not kidding. This fundamental feature that most cloud storage services treat as a basic necessity is as of today, completely absent. As someone who regularly messes up documents and needs to revert to earlier versions, this was honestly the biggest bummer I've experienced during my testing. On the flip side, and we have a lot of things on the flip side here, anything in your deleted folder stays there until you manually obliterate it, which is actually more generous than most services that automatically empty your trash after 30 days. Google Drive, for example. Still. Not having to worry about accidental permanent deletions isn't quite the same as proper versioning. One pleasant surprise was the backup feature. You can set automatic backups of your entire computer or specific folders. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles of a dedicated backup service like iDrive, but it's a welcome addition that most cloud storage service providers don't really bother with at all. Sharing files securely is where privacy-focused services often fall flat on their face, but Internex has done a surprisingly good job here. You can share files or folders with secure links and even password protect them to make sure only the right people get access to it. The big privacy win, everything gets encrypted client-side before sharing. Well, the translation is here, your files stay locked down while traveling across the internet sitting on Internex servers. They only get decrypted when your recipient enters the password you've provided, and that is pretty slick. What's missing here? Link expiration dates. Come on, Internext, this is Security 101. I want to be able to share something temporarily without having to remember to revoke access later. Internext has been pretty quick to add new features, though, so Fingers crossed they add this soon, and they're very active in changing their software. They really want to get be the best cloud storage out there, so I'm very confident this will be added very soon to their software. If you're coming from Google's collaborative ecosystem, prepare for disappointment. There's zero real-time collaboration here, no shared editing, no commenting, nada. But honestly, I've yet to find a truly privacy-focused service that does collaboration well. So I can't really hold this against Internex specifically, but it's certainly something that you need to be aware of. So don't take Internex as your collaboration suit, but Internex does not want to be a collaboration service. It doesn't want to be Google Docs. It's simply a cloud storage service, and this is basically what we're trying to evaluate here in this review. The sync functionality in Internex works pretty much how you'd expect if you've used 
any cloud storage before. The desktop app creates a sync folder on your computer and anything you drag into that magic folder gets whisked away to the cloud and synchronized across all your devices. I particularly appreciated the selective sync feature. It lets you choose exactly which folders to download to each device. This was a lifesaver for my poor MacBook Air with its measly storage. I've been storing my entire photo library and well, Literally, we're talking terabytes of vacation selfies, videos, and cat pictures. Well, you must know we have five cats at home. <laughs> so Internext really did a really, really good job of syncing everything up to my phone, and it works really like a charm. The actual sync process runs smoothly in the background without turning my computer into a space heater, which is always quite nice. And changes basically typically appear, well, I mean changes of your files basically appear within seconds when you are on a decent internet connection. One technical limitation worth noting, there is no block level sync. In human terms, this means when you edit a file, Internext has to re-upload the entire thing rather than just the parts you changed. Not a big deal for like text documents, but for files I was editing, well, for example, some 4K video files, the waiting game got old very fast. And I'm gonna show you how to use Internext on a daily basis, but first, let me grab some coffee. Speaking of coffee, I'm basically fueled by it daily, and after struggling to find consistently great beans, my partner and I founded Coffeeness to create the perfect chocolatey espresso blend. We've tested this blend in over 100 machines to make it perfect. Take a look at our overflowing storage rooms right here with all the machines. From high-end manual espresso machines, like this beauty here, to Breville or Sage semi-automatics, or maybe you're the super automatic guy and you prefer a Dura machine, like this one here. Or the budget models from DeLonghi that works also perfectly with our espresso. It delivers exceptional results every single time. Wonderful. We personally visit our partner firms in Brazil every year, sourcing 100% Arabica beans through direct trade relationships. And each small batch is freshly roasted in Brooklyn, resulting in a medium strength espresso with delightful chocolate and hazelnut notes. Our customers love it too, with hundreds of five-star reviews on our website and Trustpilot. One reviewer wrote, great beans for my super auto with smooth crema as in a coffee bar in Italy. Lovely to hear that. Use the coupon code CLOUDWORDS for 5% off your first order and European viewers visit our EU store for beans roasted in Frankfurt and US viewers head to coffeeness.com for Brooklyn roasted beans. All the links are in the description box below. And now, Back to today's video. So what's it actually like to use Internext day to day? The interface strikes a nice balance between minimalism and functionality. Think Marie Kondo meets cloud storage. If you've used literally any cloud storage before, you feel right at home. The service works everywhere you'd want it to, like Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, all have dedicated apps and I've tested every single one and the experience is surprisingly consistent across all platforms. The web interface deserves special praise. It's thoughtfully designed with easy file sorting and management. You get both grid and list views and all the usual file operations like moving, copying, deleting work exactly as expected. There are even keyboard shortcuts for us power users who break out in hives when forced to use a mouse. That said, not everything is sunshine and rainbows. The mobile experience is functional, but not really life-changing. The Android and iOS apps get the job done, but the lack of auto photo upload is a strange omission that I really hope they fix soon. And coming from feature-rich services like Google Drive, you gotta prepare for some adjustment pains. Well, with no integrated document editing, you'll need to download files and edit them locally then re-upload a workflow that feels decidedly 2010 in today's cloud-centric world. Like I said though, most privacy-focused services like this are 
just not able to do this because of the privacy um, the privacy environment, right? So I, I can't complain this too much and I won't hold it against Internex in my final review. One area where Internex absolutely crushes it though, settings and account management. Privacy controls are front and center instead of like buried 17 menus deep like some services, I'm really looking at you Google, is refreshingly transparent about what data is stored and how to nuke it if needed. Now let's talk numbers. I put Internex through my standard test, uploading and downloading a five gigabit folder packed with documents, photos, and videos. I run these tests on my one gigabit per second internet connection. I first throttle the internet connection to 100 megabits per second for stability and to mimic a little bit more what other people might have at home. And then unleashed at full speed. The throttle test results, uploads completed in about eight minutes. Respectable, but not setting any speed records. Downloads were slightly slower at around 9.5 minutes, which is a bit unusual since downloads are typically faster than uploads. And here is where it gets really interesting. When I removed the throttle and let my fiber connection run wild, the performance barely improved. We're talking maybe 10 seconds faster for uploads and downloads showed virtually no improvement. What gives? The bottleneck isn't your internet speed. It's internet encryption process. Your files get encrypted client-side before transmission, which adds processing time, especially for large files. This is the privacy tax you pay for true end-to-end -end encryption. And while it might test your patience during initial uploads, I personally think the security benefits are worth it. If you're stuck with me this far, here's where Internex really makes its case. This service doesn't just talk about privacy, it delivers with zero knowledge into an encryption for everything you store. What does that mean actually? Your files get locked down on your device before they ever touch the internet using encryption keys generated from your password. These keys never leave your device, which means even if an Internex employee wanted to snoop on your collection of embarrassing karaoke media videos, they literally cannot access them. I'm not saying that really Internex would do that, but just, I mean, you get the point. <laughs> the technical implementation uses AES 256-bit encryption, the same standard used by banks and governments that's practically uncrackable with current technology, current as in May 2025. Internext is also the first cloud storage service I've seen actively preparing for quantum computing threats with post-quantum cryptography. That is, in my opinion, some serious forward thinking. Your password is never stored on Internex servers. Instead, they use a zero-knowledge proof system to verify you without actually knowing your password. It's like checking if someone has the key to a lock without ever seeing the key itself. It's, it's pretty clever math. Here's another major privacy win. Internet servers live in the European Union, specifically in countries with ironclad privacy laws. So this isn't just marketing fluff. It has real implications for your data protection. Unlike US-based services that can legally be strong-armed into sharing data through national security letters and surveillance programs, Internex benefits from the EU's stricter legal protections. Now, even if they were somehow legally compelled to hand over your data, all they could provide would be encrypted gibberish without your personal encryption keys, or decryption keys rather. That's about as close to bulletproof privacy as you can get in today's digital world. I'm a huge fan of their commitment to open source client application. This transparency allows independent security researchers to verify that the service works exactly as claimed rather than just taking the company's word for it. And in an industry where vague security claims and hidden backdoors are depressingly common, this level of openness is like a breath of fresh air. The service also includes two-factor authentication, an absolute must-have for any service claiming to be a security-conscious one. You can set this up with any standard authenticator app, adding that crucial second layer of protection beyond your password. Let's talk monies. Internext offers a free tier with one gigabyte of free storage, which is frankly a little tiny compared to competitors. Most services offer at least five to 10 gigabytes for free, and I really hope Internext bumps this up in the future. For plans, now here comes the thing. It gets much more interesting though. With the discount link in the description box below, and 
yeah, it's a shameless plug, but it generally saves you money. So go ahead and click it if you really plan on signing up for Internex to help out the channel and obviously Internex as well. Plans start at less than $2 per month for a full terabyte of storage. Larger 3 terabyte and 5 terabyte plans are also available at similarly competitive rates. And compared to other privacy focused services, this is abso absurdly cheap. I don't even know how they do it, to be honest. We're talking 50, 70 percent less than what most competitors charge for similar features and storage capacity. And here comes one of the best features that I absolutely love. Internext offers lifetime plans, which is where things get really interesting. For roughly $150, you can get lifetime access to one terabyte of storage. No more monthly payments ever. For comparison, that's only slightly more than what most other services will charge for a single year of similar storage. If you're planning to stick with cloud storage for the long haul and, well, who isn't these days? The lifetime plan offers incredible value in my book. Now, after weeks of testing every nook and cranny of this service, I've never identified two main types of people who would love Internext. So maybe you're among those two types, maybe not. If you're not, write down a comment and explain why this is not the service for you. Or on the contrary, if it is, why you chose Internext over other services. Okay, first, the privacy conscious crowd. Well, it's obvious after all I've been <laughs> telling you about zero knowledge encryption. If you're someone who gets queasy thinking about Google analyzing your photos or Microsoft scanning your documents, Internext offers a genuinely private alternative that doesn't require a computer science degree to use. This includes professionals dealing with sensitive data. So I'm thinking journalists protecting sources, for example, lawyers with confidential documents, healthcare providers with patient information, or financial advisors handling private financial records. Those are the groups that are probably um, ideal customers for, for Internext. Second, uh, we got bargain hunters here <laughs> looking for cheap, reliable storage. And those lifetime plans in particular are bonkers good value. Yes, it's a chunk of change up front, but it pays for itself within a couple of years compared to literally any competitor out there. However, Internext definitely isn't for everyone. And, and why would it, right? It doesn't make sense to create a server that's for everyone, because then if you're great for everyone, you're not good at anything, essentially. Now, if real-time collaboration is central, to your workflow, you'll find its sharing capabilities may be a little bit too limited. And if you're deeply embedded in an integrated ecosystem like Google's, breaking free might be more painful than it is worth. But in my opinion, there's absolutely room to use two cloud storage services at the same time. So you could use Google Docs for all your document live editing synchronization needs and then sign up for Internext as a good alternative that lets you really store massive amounts of storage um, at a tiny budget. Internext delivers on its privacy promises while keeping things reasonably user friendly. It's not the fastest or the most feature packed cloud storage option out there but it strikes a compelling balance between security, usability, and affordability. And now, let me go on a little bit of a rant here because I think that a lot of services, they wanna to do too much. I've alluded to it in my introduction a little bit, but if you look, for example, at the world of VPN services, now every VPN service starts to be a VPN that is also antivirus, a password manager. They're adding a lot of services, and I think they really go away from their core features, and they have to get better at their core features, not weaken them by distracting their attention to build other types of services around it. I get it. It's business 101. Yeah, you need to diversify. You really, <laughs> you really need to see where you get your customers. I, I, I truly get it. But I see the same thing happening in the cloud storage world. More, more and more providers are adding features that are just not central to their core offering. Why would they do it? Why do it if you don't have the expertise? If you are a great cloud storage service, stick being a great cloud storage service and don't get distracted. Anyway, <laughs> end of my rant here. Now, in a digital world where data breaches and privacy invasions are increasingly common, Internext offers a refreshing alternative that puts you back in control of your digital life. What do you think? Are you willing to trade some convenience for better privacy and security? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this deep dive helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more no-nonsense tech reviews that actually test things thoroughly instead of just reading spec sheets. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.